All right, we haven't done this for a while. It's time to check in on our breeding program of bearded dragons at our shop. Things have changed up quite a bit since we last took a look. Um, our one beardy that liked to look at the light, she ended up passing away, unfortunately, and very unexpectedly. So we got, well, this isn't a female, this is a male. <laughs> we did get a new female and she is massive. You're hiding your girlfriend, little dude. I shouldn't call him little dude, but she makes him look like a little dude. Hey, big girl. Yeah, she's just like, I'm tired. <laughs> when he first saw her, he reacted. We actually have a short little video clip here that I'll show you. That shows how he reacted to her for the first time. M1 has finally met his match. And it is the Spearty. <laughs> yeah, it was taken by one of our phones when we first saw him. <laughs> and uh, that was from our Snapchat. And he actually was very intimidated by her when we first put him in there. It took him a little bit to warm up, but eventually he was doing his head bobbing and everything. So, and today I caught him uh, marking his scent all over this log. So I'm wiggling all over it. Yes, I did. I caught you. But yeah, she's known. She's got a history of laying a ton of eggs. So hopefully she'll be a good breeder for us. We'll cover her up. So yeah, we're hoping we get, get a clutch out of her this season, maybe. If he does his job and isn't intimidated by her. <laughs> and then you guys are probably going to recognize this little girl down here. This is Ella from our Sam and Ella pair. Now, because they're both leatherbacks, we didn't want to breed Sam with Ella, so we don't want to keep them together. So Sam's gonna be the show beardy and Ella's gonna be a breeder. So she'll get to breed with one of our two normal males, including the one we just looked at that's with the uh, larger female. But uh, yeah, we're really excited. She's really beautiful. So we definitely didn't want to let her go, so. We're going to keep her as a breeder, and she's going to be spoiled rotten. <laughs> and another reason why we wanted to keep her as a breeder is because uh, she's almost already full grown, so she'll be ready to breed when the next breeding season comes along in spring or uh, early in the uh, year next year. So she'll be all nice and ready. Whereas the other one, the baby we pulled aside, wouldn't be able to breed next season because it wouldn't have been big enough or we would have had to wait till much later in the season. Say, I think her babies are gonna look beautiful. I hope so. I really do. And as far as the rest of our females, we got some brumaters. I think F5 has gone to brumation. F6 definitely has. Uh, <laughs> she's sleeping right now. She came out a little bit today to get a drink, but she's been mostly sleeping. Hey, she's peeking out again. <laughs> She's brewmating right now, and she's only coming out every once in a while, and then she'll go in and sleep. And usually F3 is brewmating by now or soon. She usually brewmates all winter, and then she's ready to lay eggs uh, once spring gets here, so... Yeah! She didn't produce many clutches this year, unfortunately, but maybe next year we'll have a better year with her. So yeah, we don't got anything of ours in the incubator right now as far as our breeders go. Uh, they mostly slowed down now that the cooler weather is moving in. Got stud muffin here with the new female to see if maybe she'll have some eggs. Since we don't really have a history with her, she might not have produced this season yet, so we're going to try. And then of course over here, we have our little... Uh, little dude. He's hanging out under the log. He's our little rookie. He's a little not as experienced as Stud Muffin over there, but uh, I can see your snoot. I can see your snoot sticking out. Yes, I can. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. He's, he's taking a little sleep right now, but he's still with us. He managed to produce a few clutches with, with females this year, so it's all good. And yeah, that's about it as far as updates to our breeding program go. We'll have to see how it is 
at the beginning of next year. I know our earliest clutch was laid, I think, on New Year's Eve. So we'll see if we uh, get any early clutches at the end of this year. And uh, yeah, it's going to be exciting with all these cool colors. Especially with F5. She's got some raging orange coloration. So it'll be interesting to see what we all get. So thanks for watching everybody and we'll see you next time.